I'm Tyler Peck and I'm a soloist with New York City Ballet. Well, I grew up in my mom, my mom owns a dance studio in Bakersfield, California. And so pretty much like as soon as I could walk, I was taking classes with her. And um, I was mostly into jazz and I, I did ballet because she made me, you know, she was like, you're not going to be a good jazz dancer unless you have your ballet technique. So I just did it because I had to. Um, and then when I got around like six or seven, she sent me um, to L.A. to start taking class. I took with Dee and Tina Casperi, um, just because it got a little hard to take from my mom, you know, she wanted me to take from somebody else besides her. And that's when I started doing all my competitions. You know, I would do showbiz and star power and um, showstoppers, and I just kind of did that for a couple of years, actually a lot of years. And then when I was 11, I flew to New York to audition for The Music Man because I had done like commercials and a couple movies in LA. And um, so they, they just sent me to, to, to New York to audition, and I got it. <laughs> And I moved to New York for a year to do The Music Man on Broadway when I was 11. And while I was there, uh, Susan Stroman had said, you know, it's really easy to like lose your technique when you're in a Broadway show because you do the same thing all the time. So she told me, you know, you really should find somewhere to take. So that's when I took at um, School of American Ballet because one of my ballet teachers at home was a former principal with a company. And so she had already told me, you know, you should take there. And it really wasn't until I went to SAB that I started to really love ballet. I had never really thought of that as um, the kind of career I wanted to have. Um, but there was something about the balancing technique that kind of was similar to like, not it's not similar to jazz, but it's jazzier than classical ballet. And it's all about these intricate steps with lots of counts. And so I didn't find ballet boring anymore at all. And um, after I saw New York City Ballet perform, I remember saying to my dad, I, I want to do that, that's what, I'm, that's what I want to do. So I finally stayed for the year when I was 14, um, when I was ready to leave home. And when I was 15, later that year, I got my apprenticeship and I got in the company. It, it happened really fast, but um, I don't know, I kind of always danced with older people anyways, like when I went to the uh, dance competitions and things like that, I, they always put me with the older dancers, so I kind of always, I think I was more mature than I should have been for my age. I actually wouldn't do it any other way than the way I did it. I think it was kind of perfect because I think sometimes when you're in a ballet school upbringing, it, it's great technique, but all you learn kind of is positions. and. Um, Along with me learning those positions and technique, I was, I was on stage at such a young age. So I never got fright, you know, frightened from performing. Um, I felt really comfortable performing. And I think sometimes um, when you just come from a ballet school, you're, sometimes ballerinas are afraid to try anything. And if you notice any um, jazz dancers that have moved on to ballet, I mean, some of them just do it as a hobby, but the ones that are actually like in companies and things, you notice that they really are, they'll just try anything. And I don't know if it's because of the competitions and things, but I, I think that it definitely helped me. And I, I don't think I would do it any differently because, you know, I see people that are so scared sometimes to go on stage and I just, I'm so grateful that it just kind of comes natural. And I think it's just from the experience that I had. Well, I think in our company there's, there's so many good people to look up to, like Wendy, you know, she's, she's one of our oldest ballerinas and she still is like, she's like in her prime, kind of, and it's just kind of amazing to see. I never would have thought that I would want to do ballet for that long, and I don't know if I, I will want to do it for that long because there are a lot of things I want to do, but, um, you know, I still have goals I want to reach in New York City Ballet, like I want to become a principal one day, and I, I'm not, so... There's still a lot of things to look up, look up to, and um, I don't feel like I've reached my potential at all. Like, you know, I, I, I've just always never felt like um, 
I just work really hard. I, I like enjoy it. <laughs> and um, I think there is a part of me that after I dance and I can no longer dance, I want to like go back to doing like movies and things like that and acting. Um, but I, I, I wanted to dance as long as I could while I was young because you know you can do the acting or Broadway when you're when you're older and you can't always do you know you can't your body can't really always handle dance for so long just because I did come from that jazz background classical ballet um, that makes me nervous when I have to wear a tutu um, that's a lot more nerve-wracking for me than doing um, a contemporary ballet or you know, one of those Balanchine abstract ballets with just lots of counts and it's kind of, you know, jazzy and there's movement. But, um, like when I do theme and variations, which is actually one of my favorite ballets to do, but I was so nervous. <laughs> it's just something about being in a tutu and, you know, being the ballerina that um, I, I get nervous for it. <laughs> I really just couldn't see myself without dancing. I've loved it from the minute I started really. My mom never pushed me. She was a dancer and she owned a studio, but she said like from the minute I was in the baby classes, I would always like somehow work my way into her class when she she taught the, you know, the adults, not the adults, but the older kids. And I just always tried, you know, to to always do more than I really could. Like um, you know, I was like 5 years old and in with like the eight, you know, the 18-year-olds trying to do the steps. Obviously, I couldn't, but I was I just always, um, I don't know, I think I just have this determination, but really I just, I just love to move. I like to express myself through movement. And I, I don't think I, I really couldn't think of doing anything else. <laughs> I think I do it mostly for myself. I try to at least, you know, I think that if I, I think the audience, um, if you can touch the audience, it's by if you're fulfilling yourself. You know, if you're if you're just going out there and dancing for the audience, it's not really going to fulfill them or you. Um, and I, I think that it's a lot about chemistry with your partner. I try to do my best to kind of um, tell a little story, no matter what it is. If I'm dancing with somebody, um, I think it's really nice for the audience to see kind of a relationship with the person you're dancing with instead of just completely just doing whatever you want and you know there's somebody else there but who cares when I started doing ballet like seriously at SAB I looked like a jazz dancer trying to do ballet I mean I know that I could do everything you know I could do lots of turns from the beginning and but it wasn't you know my turns weren't necessarily as placed as they are now or I could you know I could do all the steps but it wasn't a ballet dancer doing them it was a jazz dancer and I just think that you know, if I can do it, anybody can do it, really, because, um, I mean, you already have the background. It's just, it just takes a lot of determination and discipline, and if you really want it, you're going to, you know, you'll, you can get it. I actually think it helped in a way, you know, like, I don't think I was always right for a part. Sometimes when they would throw me into it, I would be like, this is for, like, a really established ballerina, and I am not really established ballerina, but you know, that's what helps somebody grow. And I think that that's kind of what Peter and, you know, some of the ballet masters do. They put you out on things and they give you, you know, opportunities to see if you can rise to the occasion. And um, if they didn't give you those opportunities and chances, I don't really see how you can grow as a dancer if you just do things that you're comfortable with all the time. Of course, I'm still, like, I still, my still love for, like, contemporary and jazz is like always in me. I always see people doing it and I'm like, oh my God, I miss it so much. And so, you know, New York City Ballet is a great company for me just because I do get to do, you know, anytime a contemporary comes, choreographer comes in, I, I do get to do a lot of their ballets and that's the best part. But we don't do a lot, you know, and I think the most ideal thing for me would be a company that does a lot of contemporary and a lot of, you know, classical. And, you know, just to kind of see them intermix a little bit instead of just having, like, ballet companies and contemporary companies. Ballet's been such a, um, you know, it's been done like this for so many years, so I don't know if, you know, the audiences that come to see ballet would really, you know, love to see. You know, they might want to, contemporary 
audiences might want to just see contemporary and ballet audiences, but for a dancer, it's nice to have a mix. Wendy was like one of the very first people that spoke to me on my first day of um, class. She probably doesn't even remember, but I remember because I was a little apprentice and I was like, oh my God, where am I going to stand at bar? And I think she could tell I was like a little lost. And, you know, she was like, if you need anything, just come and ask me and I'll be happy to, you know, give you the ropes. And, let you. and I was just like, this is like the biggest principal in our company. And she was like the nicest person. And that's what you find in that company, is actually the nicest people in New York City Ballet are the ones that are on top. And um, you don't expect that it's going to be like that. You know, you, th you expect that the people that are with you and going through the same things are going to be. But really, you know, everybody just, all the principals in City Ballet, they really, they really help you and they want, they want you to succeed. So in the end, everybody in the, a ballet company is eventually trying to become a principal. I mean, that's just what you want to do when you get into the company. So I don't know if it's just because everybody is going for the same goal or what, but um, or maybe it's just because they have more experiences and they know what it's like when they were a print, you know, they know how it is to go through the ranks. I don't really know what it is, I guess. I'll find out. <laughs>